Let's look at some more examples of reading an analog clock. So, as always, we start with our hour hand. The hour hand here is pointing at the 11, or maybe just a little bit past the 11, as it makes its way clockwise around the clock. So we're looking at 11 something. The minute hand has traveled one, two chunks of five minutes, so 10 minutes total. So it's telling us that it's 10 minutes past the hour. What's the hour? We already know that. It's 11. So it's 11.10 is the time that this clock is showing us. Let's try another example. All right, so our hour hand has traveled all the way around. It has passed the eight. It's on its way back up to the 12 now. It's past the eight. It's halfway between the eight and the nine. So we know that it's eight something o'clock, not yet nine o'clock, eight something o'clock. The minute hand has made its way all the way down to the six. We know that that is 30 minutes past or half past, it's halfway around the clock. Or if I wasn't sure that it was half past, I could also count the chunks of five minutes. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 chunks, six chunks, which is 30 minutes. So it would be eight is the hour and 30 is the minutes, which is half of the way around. So it's 8.30. Let's try another example. Okay, so in this example, we start with the hour hand, as always. It's past the two, it's getting closer to the three. It's not quite there yet though. It hasn't made it all the way to the three. So it must be two something, but it's gotta be almost three o'clock. Two something, let's have a look at the minute hand. The minute hand has, well, it's made most of its journey around. So it must be a pretty high number of minutes, that's telling me. I could count the number of five minute chunks that it's traveled. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 minutes it has traveled around. So it's telling us 245. I can also see that, well, there's only one quarter of the clock left there. So, and I know that one quarter of an hour is 15 minutes. So it's one quarter to three o'clock. It's almost there. This is almost there. It's almost three o'clock. I could call that quarter two three, or I could call it 245. Both different ways to call to say the time. Let's try one more example. Um, Okay, let's take a look at this, starting with the hour hand, of course, first. The hour hand, it's kind of pointing at the five, but if you look really closely, you'll notice that it's, it's just not quite there. It's almost at the five, but not quite there, which tells us that it must almost be five o'clock, or it must be close to five o'clock. It's not definitely not four o'clock, it's past four o'clock a while ago must be somewhere around five or close to five. Let's go to the minute hand here, and we can see that the minute hand is, well, it's only one chunk of five minutes away from 12, which we know is a new hour. When the minute hand is straight up on the 12, we know that that's on the hour. It's five minutes away from that. So it's five minutes to something, five minutes to the next hour. What would that next hour be? Well. It wouldn't be six, that's a, that's a whole hour away. It must be almost five o'clock. That lines up, those two things make sense to me. The minute hand is showing me that it's almost a new hour. The hour hand is showing me that it's just about on that hour of five o'clock. So we could call that five minutes to five, or we could call it four and 55 minutes, 4.55. Both ways would be correct. 